What's going on guys? Austin Retro here and we're back with more Marvel Legends. We're finally getting some waves in and this time we've got the Black Widow wave with the Crimson Dynamo Build-A-Figure. So this wave's pretty cool, you know, made for the Black Widow movie that I think was supposed to be out by now, but unfortunately it's been pushed back to like later in the year or next year whenever. So we don't get to see the movie so I don't know a whole like all the identities and stuff revealed about this movie and what all the characters are in relation and stuff. But we got some cool looking figures though to look at from it. But we got starting off what I assume to be the main villain of Taskmaster and so we don't know the whole backstory identification of Taskmaster or what he's going to be like, but it's just a little bit sketchy from like the trailers and stuff. We've got him and of course Black Widow, our main character here in a brand new black outfit fitting along perfectly for Black Widow. You can see Crimson Dynamo's leg there. And then we also got Yelena Belova, which I assume to be his Black Widow's sister, and then Red Guardian, which is some sort of relation to Black Widow. Of course, we'll go into his story of how in comics he's related to her, but in the story I feel it's probably like her dad or some sort of relation or friendship going on with him. So all very cool characters that I'm super excited to see and like I said, learn about more of these characters throughout the movie and everything but then also in the set we've got some comic characters which they always throw in so first off we've got winter soldier and again like a comic style version i believe it's a more updated version of him from the comics and stuff so that's pretty cool we got him then we also got crossbones that's like classic looking crossbones right there of course with the skull and crossbones there on his chest and stuff very perfect for him and finally we have a lesser known character of spy master which is kind of a weird looking character it looks pretty cool i like the colors and stuff but very cool overall for this black widow wave and i'm super excited to get into it so let's open them together and check them out so we're starting off with Taskmaster and again the MCU version. So he doesn't look exactly like the classic Taskmaster, but I like that they took some of the classic stuff from the comics and incorporated into this, such as the hood, the skull mask, and the blue and orange design and stuff. So very cool overall, I think. I really like this. And again, I'm excited to see in the movie if this actually turns out to be someone we've never seen before or if it's someone we have seen. But I just think it's a very cool looking figure overall. I'd love it if he had his cape, which it's really weird because it looks like it's designed to have a cape. And I thought maybe I just missed it out of the box, but I don't know if our box is just missed the cape or if there is supposed to be a cape I'm not sure what's going on here because the way it's designed like I said looks like there should be a cape back here but it's I don't see it on the box and I didn't see it in the box so I don't know what's going on with that but it um, looks very cool overall though nice armor all over him so like nice body armor completely covered I like the hood up top there of course though with the white on the back the orange trim it looks like the white kind of got a little messed up there and then the dark blue color and you can see his mask there so it has a nice visor a skull design into his actual mask there which looks pretty cool perfect for Taskmaster you know more of the white cloth that should be the cape so you don't know what that's about and then the actual armor design itself so some silver there on the shoulder pads then the center part here with orange and lighter blue detailing the stuff looks very cool there like the ab design stuff just very cool overall belt on there with some pockets on the side armor just all over him covering him up and stuff just looks very cool overall i think so if you don't know anything about taskmaster the comp in comics at least though his name is tony masters and he has the ability to duplicate movements through observation so he can watch anybody do anything and he can immediately then repeat it and he was also injected with an experimental version of a super soldier serum so it kind of enhanced his abilities a little bit but not nearly as much as like Captain America's. So with that he has photographic reflexes. He's a master martial artist tactician, marksman, and assassin. So again as I mentioned he can see somebody do something and replicate it so he can watch Captain America just fight somebody else and then he can come in and completely replicate what a Captain America just did. So that's pretty cool to me. And similar to that he can mimic a lot of people so we see that in his accessories that he comes with. So like first off he's got a shield here with his taskmaster design there and again he's got a shield like Captain America. This seems a little bit small but you know just whatever but it's a nice shield design so it has the peg on the back which he doesn't have a peg on his back for it to go into so we just gotta have the clip to put it on his arm so we'll just clip it on his arm like that so he has a shield there so again he can fight just like Captain America he comes with a sword as well I like the whole like orange designs onto the weapon stuff futuristic weird looking sword there so again the sword that he can have there we don't really have any sword people that use swords and so he can't really replicate that at least for like the movies and stuff but I know a sword is part of his classic he always has a sword and a shield usually he also comes with a bow and arrow which we've seen him use that in the trailer and stuff but he got a bow and arrow and stuff again with the bow has the orange detailings on it it doesn't have anywhere to go on obviously you can just take it and you know expand this out and wrap it around him just like that but again then you have the arrow with nowhere to put it but of course we can't really put anything to his hands because he needs some open hands he just have fist hands so we got two open hands this one has what looks to be like a trigger finger well, obviously i assume it's for the bow and stuff but that's pretty cool we've got two open hands to be able to hold like the sword and shield and all sorts of other weapons and accessories that we'll do here in a second but it, what's really interesting though is he also comes with some claw hands which is interesting as well so his hands here with the claws onto it so it's supposed to be similar like black panther so at some point he's seen black panther and is now like replicating black panther has the claws and stuff and it's going to be just like that so that's pretty cool as well i think i don't like the claws at all i mean it's cool for like the movie and stuff but i don't think for a figure i really want these or anything so i have no interest in these so there i got him all kitted out with the bow in one hand he's got the sword and the shield on the other hand stuff so very cool but i forgot to point out movements and stuff so for this head though his head can twist there side to side it can't go all the way around though just 
because of the design, but it can look down, and I like how when it looks down, the hood like bows out, which is like it would and stuff, so that's pretty cool, and it doesn't look back very much at all. The shoulders do have a butterfly joint there, stiff movement, so it does have the movement back and forth. Shoulders come up about 90 degrees and can rotate all the way around. He has the bicep twist, a double elbow joint that comes up about that far, and then the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. He's got an ab crunch right there, as you can see, very good movement, so he can go back, go forward, so very good movements overall. Twist right there at the waist. Legs come up about 90 degrees out to the side, pretty far out to the side there. Thigh twist, it's kind of hidden behind the armor there, but it has the thigh twist. Double knee joint that comes up about that far, and the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side, so pretty good movements and usual movements for a lot of Marvel Legends. But that's pretty much it for Taskmaster. Again, we don't know much about him because we haven't seen the movie or anything to know more about this figure, but I'm super excited to see him in the movie though, to see exactly what he is and if he turns out to be anybody. The next up, we've got Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff herself, and again, this is a pretty cool outfit for Black Widow. Nice dark color design with a lot of black and dark grays and stuff, so very cool overall for this. I really like this outfit. It's something new we haven't seen before, so there's a look at it up close. Again, a whole new outfit design. Looks very classic though, like very classic for Black Widow, but just something we haven't seen. There's a look at her face. Of course, we have seen this before with the deluxe Black Widow figure in the all white suit, so we have seen that exact same head. Of course, has her red hair with a little bit, it looks to be a little bit longer on one side, but has some like flow and stuff going on to it. But looks, you know, very much like Scarlett Johansson. So I think they did a really good job. And then to her outfit again, pretty similar outfit to what we've seen already. I'll show that in a second, but again, just in the all black. So it has black shoulder pads. There were some red detailing, which of course fits for Black Widow. So we got that on both sides and it goes down into her nice gold Widow bites there. And then the outfit design there in the middle, you can see the black like designs down the side, but all gray everywhere else goes into her belt. That has the Black Widow logo there right on the belt. Some gold details there on her belt. And that goes into the holsters there for her twin handguns there. She's got them on each side that we can take out. And then just the gray and black. And that continues down to the boots that are nice, almost knee-high boots, you know, a nice shiny black and stuff. Looks very cool overall for her. And if we go around to her back, she has like this backpack thing on that can hold her baton sticks and stuff, her like electric baton sticks. So they just stick down in there. I don't know how far they're supposed to go or anything. This one's kind of bent, but it can hold that, which is pretty cool, I think. So for her moves, her head can twist there. It can go all the way around. Of course, her hair kind of attaches and gets in the way of some stuff, but can't move a whole lot. Like it's on a joint, like she can look that far down, but she can't really go any further back. Then we go to her shoulder, shoulders about 90 degrees, rotation all the way around. Single elbow joint comes up there a little over 90 degrees, and then her wrist twist all the way around and can flex. Then to her ab crunch, so she got the crunch there right in her chest, so she can go back. Barely forward at all, so just a little bit, but there, and then can also twist there as well. And so just a good side to side move stuff, so can nice swirl movement. But the legs do come up not very far at all, under 90 degrees, out to the side that far. And she has some issue with her legs. This one's a lot better where her legs are in more, but these figures have where their legs like don't go into normal legs and stuff so you have to like really get them to work you'll see with the white suit one here in a minute but it's, i don't know what's with the legs if it's the holsters or what but there's something off about them but she has the thigh twist the double knee joint that comes about that far she can actually kick her butt and then the foot flexes and can twist side to side so great looking figure for all so there i went ahead and put the handguns in her hands but obviously you could do the batons if you want those as well she also comes with some fist hands there so if you don't want the open hands you can put fist as well if you want to make her punch she also comes with the foot here for crimson dynamo so our first build a figure piece there and then again just to show you the comparison we have the white version of her and then the normal black version so very similar outfits designs overall almost exact same just different repainted stuff same faces and everything but again you can see her legs like that's as far in as her legs will go so that's unfortunate for the white one but it looks very similar i think i like the white outfit overall just a little bit more but i think the black outfit looks almost comic accurate to me so just very good looking overall for this black widow figure then next up we've got yelena belova and she's very similar to black widow like i said i think in the movie it says that they're sisters and everything but in the comics they're not sisters but they went through the red room academy and the black widow program at the same time so she could have been just like black widow herself and i think in the comics is considered to be black widow at some point so it's kind of interesting but going off comic wise she's considered then a rival of black widow and she's just like black widow though trained in espionage combat and a master of martial arts and everything and then she gets the widow bites as well so pretty much just an exact replica of black widow just obviously a whole different person so if we see her outfit so she has the all white outfit on similar to we saw with the black widow there in the all white outfit she has the vest on in like a dark green color with black detailings which looks exactly like the vest that black widow was wearing in avengers infinity war so that's kind of interesting she has the blonde hair of course all nice braided and stuff into the buns there in the back and everything but there's a look at the face of florence Pugh, the actress that plays her i think looks pretty good you know she's not exact 100 accurate or anything but i think looks pretty good i wish they did some sort of least smile or something on her face she just looks so angry and stuff but it's just nice looking face overall and the body just looks nice again you could probably just take black widow's head and plop it on here and you <laughs> did not be able to tell really any difference has that vest on as i mentioned the all white suit similar to the black widow we saw has
has the widow bites there on her wrist and then her belt there even has the black widow logo just not red this time goes into the thigh holsters there that hold the twin guns as well and the white all the way down to the boots so very similar and body's gonna be exact same movement as the black widow as well so nothing real different to look at there at all so i went and put the gun in her hand so she's got one gun in her hand one in the holster and then the other holster isn't fit for a gun it's got a bunch of knives in here so like three throwing knives probably with the black widow logo right on the outside of them if you can see that there so that's pretty fun and cool again not the exact same as black widow with the same double holsters but pretty cool that it has can at least hold one she has a gun hand and a fist hand and then she comes also with another fist and a gun hand so if you do want to give her both and stuff you can switch them all out and finally she just comes with a big old body part there for crimson dynamo and stuff which is cool and that's really all there is for yelena belova and next up we've got red guardian's real name is alexi shostakov i think is how you say it. going all russian stuff i don't really know played by david harbour so we can really see that in the face but i think this looks pretty cool now red guardian is always considered to be like russia's captain america and i think in like at least with the original red guardian they even injected him with their version of the super soldier serum but of course stuff didn't turn out too well for him and he ended up dying and so this is was the second version of red guardian and this version doesn't have any sort of super soldier he's just a really like elite athlete that they trained up really well to be able to fight on par kind of like with captain america but again basing this off what i looked up for the comics he was actually married to natasha or black widow at one point in time when they were both in russia but then they ended up splitting off he turned into red guardian she went through the red room academy for black widow training stuff and so that's where they kind of split off but he was trained by the russians to become a cruel and ruthless man and again he was trained up to be like the russians version of captain america so pretty cool outfit overall i really love this outfit design with the red and all the like gray and stuff the nice big star there on his chest similar to captain america of course captain america is my favorite superhero so having a similar character is pretty cool as well but i like his outfit a lot seeing over very similar relations to captain american stuff with the way it's designed like all the armor padding and detail stuff the star on his chest again i like all the like gray and stuff i wish the gray was a little bit different color there's a look at his face where again it's supposed to be david harper i don't think the face looks very good like, compared to him but i can kind of tell that too it's supposed to be so not too bad there and just the nice armor pieces all over his body nice belt there again with all that gray colors and material stuff going down all the way to the boots i like this boot design very reminiscent like old captain america with the boots sticking up and the coverings there going up his thigh in the gray but for him his movements are going to be all the exact same as taskmaster nothing real different or anything going on with him he's just a bigger bulkier guy of course in the movie i think he's a little bit fatter and the figure doesn't show that as well but that's just one thing you get with figures so but all the movements are going to be exactly the same so we won't look at that he does of course come with his shield which red guardian does have a shield i think there's been five red guardians all together but only two don't use the shield and he of course then in the comics alexi is one that doesn't he instead has a disc thing that's on his belt i think it's like a belt buckle or something and he can take it off and throw it similar to like captain america shield but it's obviously a lot smaller in size but there's a look at his shield so this makes it really cool to me i wish he just had his masked helmet on or that the figure came with the masked helmet but i assume we'll begin that in some sort of pack of some sort in the future but the nice big old shield here you know very similar to captain america's big star there with the red detailings and all the silver and stuff so just very cool looking shield overall has the hole there so the peg can go into the back there so it just looks very nice overall again she is the russian version of captain america and finally he comes with the arm of crimson dynamo so very cool for that and that's it for red guardian next up we're going into the comic versions of winter soldier here again more modern version of the winter soldier of course if you've seen like captain america movie you know kind of his story but his real name is bucky barnes he became friends with captain america when they were in the military he was kind of like a young kid version psychic kind of like a robin to batman and stuff is what bucky was but he ended up dying at the same time captain america did in the same accident they were in an airplane it was going to explode captain america jumped off the island at bucky to let go but bucky's hand ended up getting caught and captain america fell into the ice and got frozen well bucky did as well but in the when the plane blew up he lost his arm so that's why he has a cybernetic arm and the russians went out looking for the captain america to be able to recover him to do their super soldier serum stuff from him but they found bucky instead they ended up taking him back brainwashing him and stuff turning him into a killer and kind of interesting this he went through the red room academy as well at the same time as black widow and they ended up forming a relationship so black widow ended up moving on from alexi to be with bucky but that didn't work out but the winter soldier looks cool overall again a more modern updated version just looks a little bit different but he has a shirt on that looks very reminiscent to his bucky shirt so it has all the straps going across to have the button designs there a nice dark blue color again just like his bucky outfit of course his cybernetic arm there a nice robotic arm i love the detail there of the like the circle with the star red white and blue and stuff looks very cool for that but then we got some straps over the top of them with some pockets there probably for ammunition stuff goes all the way around to the back 
I forgot to mention his face. So he has the mask on there, which is a remainder from his Bucky outfit. And then he has the longer hair there too, which looks really nice. Then we go down to his pants. So he's just got dark blue pants. So there's a lot of dark blue overall. I wish there was like a little bit different color that separate it. Has a belt on here. Has some grenades, some ammunition, the knife, and then a gun. But the gun's like molded in there. So you can't take it out or anything, which is kind of unfortunate. On his arm there, he does have a watch as well. So they always have to throw these watches in for people. Then on down on his pants, got a thigh holster there with some magazines going on. And then all the way down to his black boots. So his movements are going to be about the same. We'll go and check up though for this one though. So we got the head there, the twist side to side. It does some nodding there. And then we've got the shoulders that come up 90 degrees and can rotate all the way around. Has the bicep twist, the double elbow joint. Comes up about that far. The wrist can twist around and flex. Ab crunch right there underneath all the straps and stuff. Ab crunch for forward and backward. And fortunately, the way his belt designed, it just has a little peg that hooks in there, but it's wrapped around the you know, circle and stuff. So it kind of keeps always popping out, which is unfortunate. So anytime you twist his waist, it kind of undoes the belt. Legs come up 90 degrees out to the side some there. Thigh twist, double knee joint that comes up about that far. And the foot flexes and twists side to side. So there's just a little bit of update on movements. You know, pretty much the same uh, we saw already. Pretty much the exact same as Taskmaster, so nothing new. But his accessories, he comes with an additional handgun. So like I said, I wish I don't get the point of that handgun in the holster there on his belt. When he comes with a handgun, that could have easily just, you know, been a replacement of that. But then he also comes with a rifle, so a nice looking rifle. Scope on top, grenade launcher on the bottom. So very cool looking overall. So there we got Bucky all ready to go now. And then he comes with the head of Crimson Dynamo there as well. So a nice looking Bucky figure for all. I like the new updated style and version of Bucky and everything. So very cool for that. But that's going to be it for Winter Soldier. And next up, we've got Crossbones or Brock Rumlow again, continuing on with the comic versions. And again, we've seen him in the MCU movie, so I'm like Civil War and everything. So Crossbones was trained at the Taskmaster School for Criminals at a very young age. And he ended up doing a mission that impressed Red Skull, who ended up taking him in and giving him the name Crossbones. And as time went on, we ended up learning that he was the one that orchestrated the assassination of Captain America when Captain America first actually got killed. But as you can guess from that, he's an expert marksman. So he's a very dangerous killer and everything. But looks cool overall. Again, very comic book style. So not a whole lot of details going on here. Has a nice mask on there with the white skull on his face. All black outfit. Has like a black tank top looking thing on with the skull and crossbones on it. Then just black all the way down there to his boots. His belt on around his waist with some thigh holster stuff with two guns in it. And then some bands there around his wrist that have like some pockets stuff. Probably for ammunition and black gloves. But other than that, that's about it. There's nothing really too different to look at for him here. He's just, you know, just a basic comic book version of the character and stuff. So not a whole lot of details to look at. But there's a look at his face up close there. You can see it. And his movements are going to be about the same. So it's like can twist, not shoulders go up about 90 degrees, rotate around, bicep twist, the double elbow joint that goes up about that far, wrist twist around and flex, the ab crunch, twist at the waist, of course the holsters and everything get a little bit in the way there on the thighs, legs come up 90 degrees, out to the side a little, thigh rotation, double knee joint, twist at the shin and feet flex and twist side to side as usual. But as I mentioned, he does have the holsters there on his thigh with two guns, so these nice metallic white or silver guns, they're just weird, kind of like futuristic looking guns. But then he also comes with these two like shotguns like sawed off shotguns there that comes with it he can double wheel them more futuristic looking don't look like normal double barrel shotguns but look a little bit weird but we'll go ahead and put those in his hands so there we got crossbones which looks pretty cool like i said for a comic character he's pretty plain and basic but i think he looks pretty cool and badass he's got a nice bigger bulkier body he reminds me a lot of bane but it's very cool overall for that and then finally of course he comes with the hand for crimson dynamo there so that's it for crossbones and finally we have spy master which again i don't know a whole lot about spy master it's hard to find much of anything about him stuff about him has kind of been kept like a mystery just some like random character and he's had a bunch of identities and so multiple identities have had different stuff so I don't know what to go with but one version was trained by at the Taskmaster Academy so I feel that's what I go with this one for this since it fits in with this set but the biggest thing about him is that he's an excellent fighter skilled athlete master spy marksman and from the comic stuff he's mostly a villain of Iron Man so that's where he kind of fits in and stuff but I like his outfit design the blue and yellow he'd fit perfectly in with the X-Men but it's a weird cool design there on his forehead so he has like a lighter blue like like rounded design there which looks pretty cool now I like the face how it's like mostly all the yellow and stuff but it has what looks to be like tears and stuff almost like streaming down his face so it looks cool there from his eyes and that goes down to the yellow there then it transitions in the blue he has a nice like sword or dagger there on his chest and like a weird design and stuff and the blue goes all the way down into the yellow gloves and then goes into the yellow belt has the big s on it for spy master some pockets and so random stuff there a nice holster there with a nice bright red gun same exact gun design that crossbones had with the silver there so pretty cool for that and blue continues down into the yellow boots as well same movements as all the other characters just obviously a lot skinnier but we're not gonna look at that on him and then of course he comes with the final part for crimson dynamo the foot there so that's really all there is for spy master again not a whole lot to really look at here and again we've already seen all the movements and stuff so nothing too much to look at he's just very obscure character in the marvel history and stuff but very cool overall
overall for Spymaster. But now we got all the body parts here for Crimson Dynamo, so let's go ahead and put them together. So here's Crimson Dynamo all put together, and he's actually pretty easy to put together. Of course, his legs are kind of stiff and hard to get, but everything else actually works pretty good on him for a build a figure, which I'm kind of impressed by. But it looks very nice and cool, big old bulky character and everything. And of course, I've heard of Crimson Dynamo. He's a Iron Man villain. This is like a newer style look, I believe, for him and everything, and kind of like a different part of the story that I'll tell you about. So Crimson Dynamo was originally created by Anton Venko in the comics, which I thought was maybe going to be the guy from Iron Man 2, but that's Ivan Venko, so maybe it's some sort of relation, or they just changed his name or something, but a little bit different there. But he was one of Russia's top inventors and expert in electricity, so he designed this suit, the Crimson Dynamo suit, as a way to control electromagnetism and be able to fight around with that, which of course worked perfect against Iron Man. But I think he ended up dying or something, but he started to create the Crimson Dynamo Armor Mark II, which is what this is, before he died, and so there was some prototypes of it out there, and some kid that I can't pronounce his name at all, it's some Russian name, ended up finding the helmet and he put it on and he was able to control the Crimson Dynamo armor with that helmet on so it's some kid like controlling this and that armor matches this version exactly so I guess technically this would have been done by a kid but the figure itself looks pretty cool it's nice big and tall and everything so here's like Spy Master to see how tall it is in comparison so pretty big figure there which of course was always cool for build of figures but a nice look at the helmet there you know nice face he's all robotic so nothing human about him really but a nice face a nice visor there nice red star there on his chest big bulky red armor reminds me a lot of like Juggernaut and stuff some pipe sticking up there on the top then his robotic arms going into the hands which I like these gauntlet parts that have like the blue look like a liquid or something in there which is pretty cool and especially on this hand over here there's even one that looks like it's all cracked and stuff I don't know if you can see it very well but it's all like cracked and dented in and stuff so that's pretty cool and yeah, as you can see he's got a fist hand and open hand there and that just goes down into the legs where he's got the big bulky legs that look similar to other build figures we've had in the past the same sort of like leg design I don't remember which ones exactly but that just looks very familiar but his movements are going to be pretty similar to other figures so he's got head that can twist and nod there has a joint there in the neck as well that can move and then also as well as the head so the head can like nod there and twist and then the same with the neck part so that's pretty cool the shoulders do come up about 90 degrees and the shoulder pads do move there and you can even pop them off if you want they just popped on but they come about 90 degrees and can probably rotate within there as well just not all the way around it has the bicep twist a single elbow joint that just goes up about 90 degrees and the wrist twist all the way around and have pretty good flex then we've got the ab crunch right there in the center so pretty good range movement it has the twist there as well so good movements overall for that then we go to legs so legs can come up 90 degrees out to the side just about that far has the thigh twist which is where it's kind of stiff and where it went together a double knee joint that only goes up about 90 degrees and then the foot at the bottom can flex back and forth and twist side to side so good range of movements everywhere except for it right there in the hips so that's it for this marvel legends black widow movie wave with the build of fear of crimson dynamo i think the set was pretty cool overall i really like the movie figures it just makes me more excited to see the movie with the taskmaster black widow Yelena Belova and Red Guardian. I just think they look pretty cool. And then we got the additional figures of Winter Soldier and Crossbones I think were cool. And then Spy Master I think was just okay. I don't care for him at all. But I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Check out our deluxe Black Widow figure over here on the left and all our Marvel Legends over here on the right. Thank you all for watching. Remember to stay awesome out there and I'll see you next time.